After more than two months in lockdown, the gates have been unlocked at Bowdoin Croquet Club and its members are cock a hoop at the news. Typically we would perhaps have 30 or 40 people down um, playing a very socially uh, fun environment um, and, and yes I think a lot of people have missed that and so as soon as we opened up again you know people were starting to come back out again. Croquet was one of the first sports to get the go-ahead to resume as players can compete at a safe distance. It's been welcome news for the 8,000 people who play the sport across the UK. Here at Bowdoin, one of 20 clubs in the North West, they're hoping its return may entice some new members. David, so explain how I hold this. Right, however it's comfortable for you. Probably a little bit closer together and then just swing like a pendulum. Okay. And then just a gentle swing. There you go. Not bad. Not bad. And the smiles back on people's faces. Not every shot goes right, so there's, there's always the, you know, either the laugh or, or the, oh no, groans. Um, and it's, it's good to hear again. For players like David, who's in the world's top 60, croquet is a serious business. Around a third of the season has been wiped out by lockdown, including regional, national and international tournaments. For many more, the pandemic has denied them important social interaction. It's actually very, very good for people of all ages. You're out in the sunshine, you're getting plenty of vitamin D, it's social, and you're also trying to do something that's stretching you intellectually and physically. And all those things are good for, uh, are good for you. It is a thinking game and, and skill as well. And you can play any age with any person. It's a lovely way to spend the afternoon. Liz Taylor-Webb occasionally combines croquet with her other great passion. She's a professional artist too. And imagine my surprise when she revealed the biggest influence on her career. Lowry was my big mentor and he got me into professional painting. And I went on from there and I've been painting ever since. He yes. was your mentor? Yes. So tell us what he was like. He was lovely, yeah. He was good to me. I was introduced to him by a mutual friend and we went for lunch, the three of us. Then I took him home in my car and he said, come back and see me and there we go. Liz never quite managed to persuade Lowry to swap his paintbrush for a mallet. His artistry was saved for the wall and not the lawn. But like his paintings, the sport of croquet has endured too. Mike Hall, ITV News, Bowdoin.